Taylor, it looks like you guys really got back to the way you want to play on both ends tonight. Would you say on initial reaction, this was the best performance of the season so far? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think it's one of the best of the season. Um, you know, this is more of the Grizzlies basketball that we expect. Um, you know, I've said it, you know, in these sessions, I've said it to the team last couple of days, just finding consistency and uh, really proud of the edge that we came out with. I mean, I thought we got a ton of great looks early in the first quarter, you know, missing layups, I think. You know, we missed like 12 shots in the first half around the restricted or pain area. Um, but we just kept sticking with our plan of just activity on the defensive end. Our guys were flying around, um, you know, contesting the three-point line a whole lot better. Urgency out there, guarding one-on-one -on -one with better physicality. Our team activity was off the charts. Um, and then I said it in the, the pregame session about, you know, just getting back to our pace. And we had 21 fast break points. I can't remember the last time that we had that. Um, so I, I felt like our activity really fueled our offense. Um, you know, but but the, uh, the the play on both ends of the floor was just really consistent for 48 minutes and great result. Uh, but we know we're going to have a tough challenge tomorrow against, you know, a great team again tomorrow. Um, so we just got to find ways to get better and, and find even more consistency one game to the next. Megan Triplett. Coach, can you just talk about what you've seen from Tyus Jones coming off the bench, especially coming off of Dallas's game of career high night and then tonight, uh, following that up with a 20 point performance tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, awesome um, career night for him. And I just give him a lot of credit. I know he had a, a couple of struggles in, in recent games, uh, but the ultimate pro, the ultimate team guy, always staying engaged, uh, putting in the work as much as he could over the last week or so, uh, having faith that, you know, it was a breakthrough. You know, he and I talked about it. You know, the assistant coaches and him have talked about it. Uh, but he's been, you know, fully engaged like the ultimate pro and the ultimate worker. And, and this is just a product of that. So I'm just really proud of him. You know, obviously he's huge for us. You know, Sparky gives us off the bench. He was huge for us tonight in that first half, helping us build a lead uh, and then even building a, another lead there uh, on the lead that we already had there in the second half. So really proud of the work that he keeps putting in, um, you know, doesn't doesn't, uh, you know, phase me in the least to see what he did last couple of games. Evan Barnes. They are the Clippers one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league. I think they lead the league in three-point shooting coming in. Um, what did you guys do defensively to try to, you know, make it tough for them to kind of, you know, get going from the outside? Yeah, just urgency uh, to defend the three-point line. You know, that's been something that has just come in waves with our group, you know, over the course of the season. Just our shift activity, you know, is a priority for us, uh, taking away the paint. Obviously, they're a really good mid-range shooting team too, so showing crowds. And then just getting out to the three-point line with better urgency, um, you know, trying to deter, you know, catch and shoot threes. I mean, teams are still going to shoot at a high rate. Uh, they still got 34 threes off. Uh, but can we impact those a little bit more? Can we have heavier contests? You know, something that we've been struggling with uh, last couple of weeks. So I think our guys just, you know, after kind of getting back to, you know, our basics tomorrow, uh, excuse me, yesterday about our urgency to defend the three-point line, no matter who we're playing, just so happened we guarded, you know, the probably one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league, especially number one, I think, uh, percentage-wise. Uh, it was just a commitment to the energy um, to get out there. And then they did a really good job moving the ball and putting us in scramble situations. I thought our guys did a really good job. They hit a couple, uh, but just to have the mentality to just be super active defensively, I think, uh, was kind of a difference maker for us tonight. Peter Edmondson. Hey, Taylor, how do you assess uh, Justice Winslow's performance and his – uh, emergence now uh, coming back uh, in game number three. Yeah, I mean, just uh, one one game after another, he just continues to get better, uh, just finding his legs, uh, you know, find, finding, uh, you know, that confidence again back on the floor. Uh, and you can see it. You can see it in his face. You can see it in his play, uh, especially tonight. Um, I just think, you know, his defensive abil ability just, you know, sets a tone for us, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, guarding pick and rolls, impacting the ball, uh, disrupting offenses. I thought he did a heck of a job in a, in a number of matchups tonight, obviously with Leonard and George and, and, and Lou Williams, um, getting his hands on balls and then just, you know, playing with great pace on the offensive end. You know, it's still going to take us time to get him acclimated and get him, you know, uh, fit in with his teammates and, and building that chemistry. Uh, but I thought, you know, the pace that we play with allowed him to have some success in transition, getting downhill, um, you know, shooting from the outside, getting to the free throw line. Um, when he plays with that aggression, and that's all I was focused about, you know, the first couple of games is just go out there and attack your game. Um, and it's paying off. And we just, you know, expect him to continue to get better and better as he continues to play more. Parker Fleming. Hey, Coach. Uh, Dylan Brooks, uh, he came back tonight and, you know, he showed what he always does in the offense, been as a uh, creator off the dribble. But just uh, what did you think of his defensive activity tonight, not just – uh, guarding Paul George or Kawhi Leonard, but to just go after uh, those 50-50 balls. Yeah, I mean, he did, he has a great ability to get his hands on balls and, and um, you know, 
you know, move his feet with physicality against, you know, two elite players. Uh, you need that. You know, I know he got uh, some foul trouble there in the first half, but never wavered when he came back. Just continuing playing with great discipline, great activity, great physicality, getting his hands on balls, um, you know, executing our coverages and a couple of the schemes that we threw out there tonight. I thought he did a heck of a job, uh, but he can be a tone setter for us. And, you know, when, when he's good on both ends of the floor, that usually means really good things for the Grizzlies. And it's great to see, you know, after I think a week or so layoff, you know, it took him a minute there to find his groove offensively. But, you know, again, he was attacking with great force, um, got the ball moving and then, and then, you know, made some big shots there, especially in that fourth quarter. Final question, Terry Davis. Hey coach, if you contribute this win to one thing, would you contribute uh, to the team rest, your fresh trade or something else? Oh man, it, it's a combination of things. But if I had to just pick one, I think it was just getting getting back to focusing on our habits yesterday and actually having some time to do that. And uh, whether it's two days off, one day off, whatever you know the schedule's going to have for us moving forward, if we can just take advantage of those days to just get back and and recenter ourselves. I think I said it before the game. When we have those moments to sit down, watch film, and even just walk through a few things, our guys are able to carry that over and, and do really well the next day.